So on the top section here, I've chosen some waxes that I want to try going forward, just ones that I enjoy using. Some of the newer stuff and then some of the waxes that are my firm favourite. So first up, this is an easy choice. It's their second top seller and that's Lavender. So second only to RPM. RPM is our top selling wax. Then Lavender comes in at second. It's a really wet looking wax. It's just a wax I really enjoy using. The super wet look will look particularly good on the black paint. Next up, I've got a wax called Privé. Now Privé is slightly different in the sense that it's a warmer finish. It's more akin to a concourse style, but it's a concourse style wax. So it's a warmer finish, really high gloss. It doesn't have the longevity of the other waxes, however, not too fussed about that because I do tend to look after the car quite often. So that's my next choice is Privé. After this, we've got a few metallic paint cars within the family. So Anvil is going to now go in the case just simply because all bar one of them is metallic. So I like to have this just as an option. Next, Trossets. This is an interesting wax and I chose this because if I can choose between Lavender and Anvil, Trossets is the perfect in between. It's got that wet look that Lavender brings but it's got the clarity of Anvil. So I think I'll probably be reaching for Trossets more, um, more than I probably think I will. So just good to have that one in there. And then last but not least, we've got a wee fun wax in here. So with every Warrior kit, you get a complimentary 50ml wax. So for this, I've chosen my Pineapple Crush. So that's the one that will go in. Now, on top of this, you can store up to 12 200ml waxes in this top case. And then it's just got catches there. So you dimples that it connects into, you can close that down. Now we've got other drawers available as well and I'll just go through what I tend to use and we'll take the key out of the way so that we've got some access here. So first up, these ones are quite straightforward. I tend to keep things like brushes, pads, that type of thing. Now with the kit you do get um, a pack of microfiber pads, the four inch ones included, so you can split them down. I tend to keep them in the Ziploc bags and then just write the name on them. Obviously wash them once in a while so that they're nice and clean, but if you're looking after the car and you're maybe waxing every few weeks, it'll be absolutely fine away. Great thing with the tool case is you don't get any daylight in there um, and it keeps the products protected. You know, if the waxes are away here, we get a much better lifespan if they're sitting on the shelf and maybe through the shed window, the garage window, the light's hitting off the jar. So it's better to have your waxes away out of, um, out of the sunlight. Next up, we've got another thinner tray here. These are all foam backed as well. So I would tend to use this for the wax and polish cloths. I tend to put some Olympian cloths in here as well. You can also, with the kit, you do get our um, ceramic products. So the ceramic products fit quite neatly within here. So this could essentially be, if you wanted to label it, it could be your ceramic drawer. So um, as I'm talking of that, I think that's probably quite a good idea what I'll, I'll do next. So we've seen a few different ways of laying out the drawers. Some people put the products in actually in the drawers, some people put the products in the cabinet at the bottom. Now, as you can see, we've got all the liquids here. So you get absolutely every liquid that we offer in 500ml sizes. There are a few ones that obviously don't come in 500ml, would be your air freshener. So ones that you see on the website that are just down as a 150 or maybe a 50ml. So things like your Bavaria, that comes in a 150. Um, your air freshener, that's a, a 100ml, that comes in as well. But you do get all of the liquids, that's the big selling point. For the price, you get four 200ml waxes, plus all your liquids, 
and you get a few other bits and pieces as well. So we'll just, you get four over pours, so that just means you get four samples. So you get four additional samples, they're just chosen at random. Just depends what we are making at the time. We keep the, there's a small amount of samples in here just for the packing area, but we've got a big box of them just over there. So you get four of these samples, all different. In addition to that, as I said, you'll get your bag of applicators, you'll get your explorer kit with this as well. So you get your mug and your sample liquid, you'll get another wax as well. So you get loads and loads of waxes within this. On top of that, let's have a look at storage on board. So first up, your shorter drawer, which is this one here, I would tend to use this for, and I'll just bring this one out and show you the difference. I would tend to use this drawer here for polishes, sealants, anything that's got this type of cap. So this type of cap here. The other thing is, it means it's nice and organised as well. That If you want Pure or Cloak, uh, Titan, Guard, you get all of these products. Essentially, any of our sealant or polish cream products. I would keep them in that drawer there, and you could obviously just call this um, the paint cleanser and sealant drawer. I quite like to put tabs on the drawers just so that I know exactly what's in there, so that when I pick it out, obviously time saving as well. The other thing that you can do is you can leave the drawer open. The only downside is just watch with the weight, because obviously if there's a fair amount of weight here, the items might drop forward, so just be careful with that. Next up, we've had um, a variety of customers show us once they purchase the kit and they organise it to how they want it to be, which is you know what it's all about. We probably organise our stuff just as much as, or uh, we probably organise it more than we use it, but um, it's all part of the hobby. So. The other thing I've seen this drawer used for, again, would be waxes. Now you can fit another 12 waxes in here. We have customers, I know you're thinking, you might be thinking, 12 waxes, 24 waxes, what we're going to do. We've got customers that have got 50 or 60 of our waxes. So we've got customers that will utilise that space. I am um, personally, like to have, I've just seen there, I've just picked off four, but we have all the waxes here and I tend to detail my own car at the factory as well. So essentially we've got 70 to 80 waxes that we can choose from at any one point. So even though I'll keep this, this is more of a, a grab kit more than anything else. It's the stuff that I use most often will go in here. So as we were saying we've now got this drawer here. I've seen this drawer again used for a few different things. I personally would always keep the spray bottles upright. I wouldn't, even though you can fit the spray bottle in here quite comfortably, I would always keep the spray bottle upright just in case it leaks. You don't want it obviously spoiling the, the drawer. So again, We've had customers that will use this drawer and this one and this one, all for waxes. I've got customers, um, most recently somebody sent me a, a photograph and what they used this for was the variety of different microfibers they had. So they had this one, the more plush and expensive one. So things like, um, what have we got here, Woolly Mammoth, Chinchilla, that was in this area here. But again, still within the bag because Depending obviously where this is kept, you don't really want the dust getting into your cloth. So that's why when we send the products out, so many of our customers will say, I kept the bag. So again, you can do that. You've got another drawer, again, you've got loads and loads of storage on here. Keeps it all nicely organized, nice and neat. Keeps all the dust off it, keeps everything nice and clean as well. Plus it's easy to move, you've got the four casters on this. Now my case or chest is set up slightly differently or slightly different just because 
I tend to keep my machines in here. So let's pull these out one by one. First up, we've got the Festool. This isn't the oldest one. The oldest one I've got is the Metabo, but unfortunately, that's now died of, died of death as, uh, as these things do. So this is the Festool that I've got. The Metabo must be 20 plus years old, so it did really well. So we've got that machine first. I've then got two of our MK1000s, just because we'll maybe do demos with them, or maybe have a customer here who want to try out the machine. So I tend to always keep two on hand. Nice thing about the MK1000 is it's got a much longer cord than you'll get with um, from normal. So this is essentially version two, and this is version three. There's not a huge amount of difference. As you can see, this one's probably had a lot more use. Um, the indication would be on the label, so the label is slightly different. But what we tend to do is, once, if I'm using the machines, I just use, put the machines in there because there's nothing else in there just now. But what I normally have in there would be, as you can probably tell where this is going, I normally keep all of the spray head bottles in here. Now you can easily fit 30 to 40 bottles in this area down here. The nice thing about this again, you've got the drainage hole, so if there's any leakage you're using, maybe the pressure washer or whatever and the bottles get wet, then you've got the drainage holes in there, the water will drain away. I'll just take these out the road for a moment. The Festool, sorry I should have said guys, the Festool is a rotary machine whereas the other two are dual action, that's the, the main difference. The nice thing about this is, once this drawer is down, you can just lift it back up. And it's nice and easy, or covered rather, it's nice and easy to get access. It is a professional grade item. You've got the ball bearing hinges on it as well, so it's nice and smooth operation. Obviously, using this outside, what I tend to do is I've just got some spray lubricant, WD-40, that type of thing, and I'll spray the hinges down just to force any moisture out of there because this thing's been snow foamed it's a tfr on it it's a citrus it's been pressure washed you know it's it, it gets used and abused but that's what it's there for you know it's a detailing mechanics it's a mechanics chest essentially with detailing products inside so it's you know it's made for the professional so one of the most important things for us when we designed the warrior kit is we wanted the presentation of it to be as good on day one as it is five, six years down the line. This is the original case. This is the original prototype, essentially. So this case must be, I don't know, 10 to 12 years old. Um, and in my mind, you've got a few things that you're going to pick up. You've got scratches on the top where I've put products. I've put the pressure washer that the most heartbreaking one is when we moved factory um, I stupidly put this on last closed closed the shutter of the the van or like the u-haul opened it back up I didn't tie it down um, so the minute I opened obviously as you accelerate things have moved and the minute I opened the back door this top section fell over and it dented the um, the, the lid so that's uh, yeah but the, the positive take from that is none of the waxes inside were damaged so the lid took all the brown which I'd prefer over the wax so uh, you always have to take something I guess one last thing is if you decide to keep your really nice waxes in this area here maybe you've got brothers or sisters or colleagues that are into detailing as well and you don't really fancy them using your best stuff, so your lilies and your rories and such like, or lavenders, you know, whatever it is for yourself. 
first thing you can do is you've got the pad you can padlock this but you've got the key to it as well and the minute you put the key in here turn it round obviously you can't open that and these drawers are now locked so you could put your run-of-the-mill stuff in here that you don't really use that much anymore so if they do come in and want to detail their own car or whatever you're not too heartbroken and it's probably more of a an experience that if you've got the key you know all your good stuff in here and then when you take out your security bars then you can get access to the other trays as well it's a great thing if you've got kids at home as well that's what i would say any products that you would be more careful with them um, especially if you've got very young ones in the house again that's a brilliant um, option for you obviously these ones here they don't have that option to them um, what I tend to do in my own house, and obviously sometimes the kids are in the factory, I'll actually just turn this around, face the other way, and if needs be, we've got a wee one at two, um, I'll put some stuff in front of it just so that there's absolutely no way that she can get into that at all. Um, you know what it's like, kids just want to do what you're doing, so they see dad detailing and they want to get involved. Um, we were painting the house at the weekend. The minute the paintbrushes come out, you know, she's right behind me. Can I have a paintbrush? Can I help? Can I help? So, as you can imagine, her paint was probably better than mine. Um, so, there you go. That's the Warrior Kit. So, essentially, you get every 500ml liquid that we offer within this kit. So, things like citrus, you'll get that. We'll go through it. You've got your all in one polish, all purpose cleaner. You've got your high temperature wheel sealant, spray sealant that is. If you've got a convertible car, you've got protect and restore. So restore will scrub, that's a detergent for cleaning convertible hoods or tops. Then you've got protect, which is your rain repellent for fabric. Bavaria, you'll get that. Chera, which is your wash and wax shampoo. Diamond seal, your Pranuba wax based sealant you've got degreaser cloak which is the glaze you've got clear which is your solvent based glass cleaner cleanse leather cleaner and the citrus we just covered endurance which is your hybrid spray sealant exile instant pre-wash probably the strongest pre-wash well, is the strongest pre-wash we offer flawless which is your glass polish if you're looking for something for water spots then um, Flawless is more geared up for heavy duty traffic film but for water spots as you guys know you'll need some kind of special chemical to remove that. Glaze which is your spray wax, can we have a spray wax. That's our ceramics there, um, guard, heavy duty long term spray sealant. We've got, there's loads, you've got your high strength decon shampoo heavy duty snow foam as well as your normal light, lighter duty pH neutral MF wash so a dedicated detergent for microfibers pure pre-wax cleaner second best seller on the website QD quick detailer best seller on the website upholstery cleaner interior quick detailer pH neutral shampoo Another spray sealant, this time it's acrylic, so it's better suited to Bavaria. You've got your spray and rinse sealant called Rinse. Rim, which is your alloy wheel cleaner. Titan, which is your high gloss sealant. It's our top selling sealant that we offer. I don't think anything else is going to come close to it. The, the volume, the, the, the shift of Titan is just incredible. Treat as well, that's your interior plastic pressing. Trim exterior plastic dressing and rubber dressing tire that's your solvent based hydrophobic tire dressing so it doesn't wash off you know after the first wash or wash off in the rain vision is our so it's our brand new formula so really vision version 2 it's a rain repellent for your glass 
and then last but not least on this area you've got wax plus which is our silicon dioxide spray sealant just above the camera there we've got a ph neutral wheel shampoo you've got interior detailer called cabin waterless wash ocean uh, bug be gone which is our insect or bug remover spa plus ceramic shampoo and then the polishes, so the abrasive polishes number one, two, and three, one being the finest, and then three being the most coarse. So you get tons and tons of stuff in this. As I said, the waxes alone, um, they would have a retail value minimum if you're choosing at the £150 range of £600. You add in this, the value of this as well, you add in the liquids. The, the total of this kit and what it sells for, there's quite a difference there. But again, it's just you're buying more from us. We want to try and help out on the on the price of that. So this is why, you know, interestingly enough, of all of the higher end kits that we sell, this is without a doubt the most popular. Obviously, we've got the Mayfair and the Rally, but the Warrior kit um, absolutely kills it in terms of what you get, the volume of products you get, and the variety of products. So check it out when you have a moment. We'll upload this to YouTube and hopefully when um, you can get a cup of coffee and a biscuit and watch through and see what you think. But it's available on the website. We can normally get these dispatched quite quickly. If you do have any special requests, like you want to swap out waxes or anything like that, just let us know and we can build a, a warrior kit bespoke to your needs. Thanks again. Bye-bye.